welcome back to the channel daughter of increase my name is Nate Denise for those of you who are new to the channel and I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith God Christ and expanding the kingdom of God you're seeing me again in the same outfit because I did record a bunch of intros during the same day but this is going to be a Bible review first impressions on the upcoming release of the CSB worldview study Bible and this is the stunning box this Bible does not come out until May 15th so I'm probably gonna post this video around that week but um here it is you guys this is my first study Bible that doesn't pertain to women because all the study Bibles that I own pertain to women so this is like my first non-female based study Bible which I'm truly excited about it is in the CSB translation which is a Christian standard Bible translation from Homans and Homans did have um, the HCSB previously but they switched to the CSB and um, yes this is in the navy leather touch it has silver gilded edges this Bible retails for $69.99 on Lifeway, if I'm not mistaken, you can get it a little cheaper, I think within the $40, $50 range. The actual price will be on the screen because I can't remember. Um, I did receive this for free for a view prior to it being released through BH Publishing Group from Lifeway. And I'm so excited. You guys do not understand the excitement. This is the box that it comes in. It is stunning and I cannot wait to dive into this with you guys. This is, like I said, my first study bible that's not pertaining to women and um i've heard some people compare this who have received this review that is compared to like an apologetic study bible so we're gonna dive into this i'm gonna give you my thoughts we're gonna flip through it and look at this beauty together so let's go ahead all right so let's dive into this beauty so this is the world of you study bible in the navy leather touch and i'm so excited about this like i said um well i didn't say it before but i'm telling you guys now it does retail for 48 dollars 99 on lifeway so definitely check out lifeway because the retail price is 69.99 so you're saving about 30 percent which is 21 dollars um this is releasing on may 15th so i'm not sure if you're going to see this during the week of its release or after its release We'll see. But um, yeah, I'm so, so excited to share this with you guys. This is my first actual non women's based study Bible. Let's dive into this. So here's the box that it comes in. I really like it. I like how the person um, kind of looking like a disciple is holding the globe in his hand. I like that. Um, I'm liking this black portion here with the nice yellow orangey um, touch to it. I love the picture of the Bible. Christian Standard Bible, Faithful and True. I'm guessing that's their slogan. And um, on the side, it just looks like that. So on the back, there is some things written down that I'm going to read to you guys. <laughs> I can just zoom in quickly. And just bear with me as I read this to you guys. So starting up here, the CSB Worldview Study Bible features extensive worldview study notes and articles by notable Christian scholars to help Christians better understand the grand narrative and flow of scripture within the biblical framework from which we are called to view reality and make sense of life in the world. Guided by general editors David S. Dockery. In Trevin K. Wax, this Bible is an invaluable resource and study tool that will help you to discuss, defend, and clearly share with others the truth, hope, and practical compatibility of Christianity in everyday life. So the features are over 130 articles um, written by more than 120 notable Christian scholars, centered column references, two ribbon markers, Present presentation page, full color map, Smithsone binding, two piece gift box, and black leather, black letter text. Um, so yeah, some people who have contributed are of course David S. Dockery, Trevin K. Wax, Constine R. Campbell. Who else do we have that I can that I'm familiar with? Daryl L. Bach. I'm familiar with. Um, Robert Smith, Jennifer A. Marshall, Carla D. Sanderson. So this is not just written by men. It is written by men and women, which is a great thing. And um, yeah, here is the ISBN for you guys to see. Again, it's the Navy, Navy Leather Touch and it's $69.99. So let's jump into this gorgeous bubble. Here is the top. I'm taking it off. Oh my God, you guys, she is just... 
stunning in every way. So let me zoom out because I had zoomed in, of course. Okay. So zooming out, moving the gift box to my desk for the time being. Here is this gorgeous Bible. Um, you really can't tell because my lighting, but um, it is a navy leather touch with silver words on the spine. It just says CSB symbol, World View Study Bible, Christian Standard Bible, Holman, and um, nothing on the back. It's a really pretty. It is gilded edges and silver, which I'm not a fan of pretty much of silver, but it is nice, you know? So, oh, it smells really nice. It's, uh, it literally smells like leather. Ugh. Okay. So, here is your presentation page presented to, let me focus this, obviously. And see if I can zoom in just a little for you guys. Okay. So, your presentation page looks like this. Presented to, by, on, and then it has the same kind of scripture as the Women's Study Bible, which is Revelations 22, 6a. Then he said to me, these words are faithful and true. Um, the World View Study Bible. Let me just move my Bible over so I can get it centered. Um, this is a new Bible, so bear with me. <laughs> So you have your preface or preface for the World Viewed Study Bible, kind of like a little article about it, written by the, the editors, obviously. The books of the Bible, the Old Testament and the New Testament. So your table of contents, basically. Um, I probably should have like broke in the paper first. <laughs> then you have your additional features. So you have tons of essays here, and I mean you have so many essays, guys. Like, wow about the new atheism um spiritualism biblical view of history christians and suffering the biblical basis for science what else is gender a choice wow 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 this really dives in biblical view of music biblical view of recreation wow this is amazing you guys this is this is really really amazing the biblical view of adoption the holy trinity the biblical view of child rearing and marriage, spiritual warfare. Okay, okay, I like this. I'm, I'm, I'm loving the articles. You have one on Satan and demons, um, Christian Science, Jehovah's Witnesses. Wow, 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 wow. I'm just. This is the first time I'm looking at this Bible with you guys. Like I tried so hard not to open it because I wanted to do a full on first impressions video. So I'm just as blown away as you guys are. If you are, um, and you have other. Um, materials such as contributors, your introduction to the CSB, and then your concordance. So here are the contributors, and I mean, I'm really not going to go through that, but it just tells you where they're from, school, education, and all that great stuff. Then you have your introduction to the CSB translation, which I'm not going to read through. I figured if you read it one time in one Bible, you don't have to read it in the same translation again. <laughs> um, abbreviations in the CSB. An introduction to a Christian worldview. So this is an introduction to this Bible and its kind of topics. Which I'm definitely going to have to read through. These pages are stuck together, you guys. Like, for real. I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> so that's that. Um, the Crisis of the Christian Mind, which is really good. That sounds amazing. Uh, what is a Christian worldview and why does it matter? Biblical interpretation, biblical inspiration and in inerrancy. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> what is a human? Wow, okay. All of this prior to getting to the actual first book of the Bible. <laughs> Speaking to a non-Christian about Jesus, I think that's a good article to have in here. That's a good one. That, that definitely was a good one to include. I can't, oh my god, you guys, I'm so excited. The excitement is real, you guys. Oh, okay. Alrighty, so the Old Testament, this is how it looks, really pretty, I like that, it's really simple and manly like, <laughs> so okay, here it is, so you have the book title up top, so Genesis, you get your introduction, um, your circumstances of writing such as the author's background, um, you get your contrib contribution to the Bible, the structure of it, at the bottom you get your timeline, which I think is always great to see a timeline of things that took place in the Bible. And then you get your Christian worldview elements. So um, the teachings about God, teachings about humanity, and teachings about salvation. And um, 
I'm gonna have to break this Bible and you guys. So here it is. Um, you have your two column text on the side, your cross references in the center, your footnotes at the bottom, and then all of your commentary underneath. Um, here is an article. This one is on models for relating scripture and science. I think that's nice. That's a really nice article. I'm gonna definitely read that. And it goes on to the back. Here's another article. So your commentary is has like this um kind of grayish background. I like commentary is a little bit tiny, um tinier than I'm used to, <laughs> but I I think I'm gonna enjoy this a lot. Um, I need to probably fan these pages <laughs> just a little. So let me skip ahead to the bookmark, the first one, and then I'm gonna show you guys the book of Esther since I'm personally studying Esther with my group now. So here's the first bookmark. It's an ivory kind of color. I like that. But we're going to go to Esther. Yes, we're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost there. Okay. So here's Esther. So again, your introduction, your circumstances of writing, which are your author in the background, contribution to the Bible, the structure of it, and then your worldview elements. Um, so the teachings about God, teachings about humanity, and teachings about salvation. Your Esther timeline at the bottom. Um, your two columns here, your cross-references, your commentary on the bottom. There's no articles that seem to be in here. So I think just throughout this Bible, all you're going to see are articles. Um, I'm not seeing any type of charts in this Bible, which is, you know, I guess because I'm so used to a woman's Bible where they have charts and little maps and things thrown in there. But um, this one is strictly articles on the world and how the Bible sees it and... Um, Yes, I really like this. So let's skip to the New Testament and see what that looks like. Okay. So that's the end of Malachi. And here we go with these pages being stuck together. <laughs> okay, so here's the New Testament. Same kind of setup, I guess you will say. And, um... Yeah, pretty much the same. Your intro, your author information, background, contribution, structure, teachings about God, humanity, and salvation. Um, your timeline at the bottom. Sorry. Um, show you guys the bookmark. The second one is this gorgeous navy kind of blue. I really like it. So these are the two bookmarks together. And, um... Yeah, so I'm going to go to the back of the Bible. Huh. Go to the back. And let's... Okay, so you have your CSB concordance. Um, there's no special markings in here, I guess not. Yeah, no special markings. So I think I'm just spoiled from having a women's study Bible that gives you like special markings and colors and bullet points and stuff like that. I just think that's what that is. So your concordance is basically the rest of the Bible. Um, and then you get your maps. Yeah, you just get your Bible. I mean your maps, sorry. <laughs> And again, these maps are not as vibrant, but um, they're still good maps. You know, maps are maps. And that's pretty much it for this Bible. I am excited about this Bible. I cannot wait to use it while I study to read the articles because I'm really interested in learning more things um, about how the Bible views the world and the world views the Bible and so on so forth. So I am just going to stick this puppy back in its gorgeous, gorgeous box. Um, and I do keep my gift boxes for my Bible just because I have a toddler and when I don't use them, I don't want them to collect dust. 
Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this review, you guys. Not review, but kind of like first impressions. I am pleased with this Bible. I'm a little spoiled by Women's Study Bible just because it has a little bit more things to it to help me study the Word of God. But um, for a basic study Bible, this is pretty darn good. I'm loving it, and I really recommend you guys to check it out. Grab yourself a copy of it. It looks amazing, and I'm definitely going to let you guys know how I'm going to use this Bible in the near future. But that is it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!